Hi, Larry Lunder, Field Agronomist with Pioneer Hybrids in Western North Dakota. And today I want to talk about soybeans and I think some of the do's and don'ts for introducing soybeans into our, what we shall say is a semi-arid climate in Western North Dakota. Uh, some watch outs, some things that will help make you successful. Uh, we've had uh, pretty good luck over the last 10 years growing soybeans. Uh, we've certainly had, had some weather that's helped cooperate with that, giving us the later season or rainfall falling at the right time of the season. Um, I guess I've had experiences working with beans in this area of the state since the late 90s. Uh, certainly the introduction of glyphosate tolerant beans has made a huge difference in how, uh, how we can manage those uh, beans uh, from a weed control standpoint. And as time has moved on, we've gotten more and more beans as we move west of the, of the Missouri River. In fact, we have beans as far as 50, 60 miles out where we probably wouldn't have thought that would, would have been the case 10 years ago, but that's the direction we're moving in. And now, a key to, key to beans is uh, the rainfall requirement in order to be successful. Early on in the season, after we, we plant our beans in May, through most of May and a good chunk of June, maybe er, even early July, we can get by on not a lot of rain. We're in the V stage or the vegetative stage. It doesn't require a lot of rain in order to maintain a soybean crop. But what happens is we start to move into the R stages. And if you just look down here, you'll see these uh, blooms starting to form. And this is an indication that we are going into R stage. As we get into R stage, as we go from R1 to R2, which indicates that we're in full bloom, uh, we're going to get that plant using a lot more water. Our water requirements are going to go up from something in the area of a tenth of an inch on average to a quarter to 0.3 tenths of an inch per day. Now that's a sizable increase in water and the question will be will we have that water available. Now certainly some advantages we've got from techniques. We tend to do a lot of no-till or minimum till out here. We preserve what moisture we have pretty good. Uh, we have a lot of wheat stubble with which we can follow, uh, follow up soybeans on, so we tend to have some good recharge because the wheat crop is taken off earlier in the year, therefore leaving us some moisture to run on the, the next season. But the key will be that we get some rain in the time, time frame of mid-July through at least mid-August. Uh, the way things are going this year, probably even early July, things will be beneficial for the reproductive stage because we are running, we are running ahead of normal in development to, the, to this point. So again, the key being we use the no-till, we hang on to more of that soil moisture. We have uh, good post-emergent options in the Roundup Ready and the Extend Tolerant beans that give us post-emergent options. We have some good products that can be used pre-emerge that don't require a lot of tillage like the old DNA herbicides did in the day when, when we would put on an application of a product that required, uh, required a pretty heavy amount of tillage in order to make it work. We've got products now that we can just spray on, we get a quarter, third of an inch of rainfall and we activate them. That works very well into our, into our systems and helps us to control weeds. So, we need to do everything we can to preserve the water we can for the soybeans and then we're also going to need we're going to need some uh, we're going to need some moisture in a part of a season where parts of the state many times don't get don't get a lot of rain or they get spotty rains so that's the challenge with soybeans but as i've said to date we've had we've had good success with the uh, with the newer improved uh, soybeans like pioneers a series genetics that have come out and we've had uh, uh, great luck with the techniques we've we've introduced, and then we've had uh, had some luck on our side with Mother Nature giving us some giving us some rain in a, rain in a timely fashion. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on Pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.